The theme that we're going to focus on right now is um, heal, glow, and grow. So I thought of each time that we meet, we'll start with one part. So today we're going to start with heal. So um, in the notebook, I was thinking, I know I like to write poetry and things like that, but I don't know if y'all are creative in that type of way, but I thought we can exercise that. So um, I want heal to be about like what happened in the past that you need to heal from, something that you need to grow from, something that is still kind of resonating on the inside of you, you know? So um, I thought we'll do that for a few minutes and then we'll move on from there. So I'll put on a little bit of music and then just think about something that you want to overcome. People pleasing. Imagine going into a space. You're perfect because he made you. That space says yes, but, and ask to change you. You agree for the moment, yet the moment seems to continue. So what they ask to change, for you to change, is what made you. Over years, the request persists, so much you no longer resist, until someone asks who you are, and your answer is whatever you wish. How do you choose you, the perfect because he made you, when you no longer remember who he was, or remember how he made you? And then in the back, that's what I talk about. For years to avoid conflict or to fit in, I have changed who I was. I had friends who told me I was too blunt and too honest, so I put sugar on all my words. And when I couldn't find anything nice to say, I said nothing. When I was called too sensitive, I toughened up and held on to my tears. When I felt weak, I said, someone has it worse and kept going. When I choose me and my health, I notice a change. When I started saying no, I felt free, but I was losing things. My biggest fear was coming true. In order to be free, I had to, I had to have to be okay with not fitting in and enduring conflict and being my own best friend. 